sensational driving. There we are, we can see the, uh, the onboard GoPro on the near side as Eddie Williams. Now there, he's gear chasing outside. down Owlet. Yes, he is. So Nick Swift taking a lap or two to get the hang of Owlet driving. Tailender ahead. Now, this could be interesting. So they're coming up behind a back marker. That's the car in second place now. Eddie Williams in the 47 car, and he's right on the back wheel of Nick Swift. Now, can Owlet pop in front of this back marker? No, nose, he can't. Takes a sensible route. Lots of Aston Martin opposite lock from... Quick away from the... Steve Archer or Jules Quick Drater. away from the chicane, though. Once he got the power down, Outlook was away. He's being chased now by Eddie Williams, 47 car. Now we've got a battle at the front with tailenders ahead of them. Outlook still with Nick Swift in control. That's the second place car. Oh, sideways out, sideways do you want it? Lovely, the kept it off the grass. Control drift, a magnificent piece of driving. And a lovely slide from Nick, allowed it's Eddie Williams to get almost alongside. It's game on Ford Water. It's game on, he's through. Oh, he's through, yeah. Eddie Williams through, past Owlet on the charge now. We're back, riding on board with him. And Owlet disappearing backwards. Nick Swift then has got a fight on his hands. He's got now from O to uh, thread his way past. Which he's not doing, he's, he's, no, he's, he's going got backwards at a rate of knots. Held up there, whereas Eddie Williams has sliced through. Look at the amount of work on the steering wheel. Quick glance over his shoulder. Probably the mirror is shaking quite 156, a lot. fastest lap, Williams. Whether it's drying out or not, it must be. Could be that the rain is eased off a bit. 156.8. And Eddie Williams is on a mission here, no doubt about it. Pit window close, that's it. Driver change is done and dusted. It's down to you. Whoever's in that car, it is down to you. You cannot surrender the responsibility to anyone else. And we've got seven minutes more of this fun and games, vintage fun and games. That's, um, yeah, well, that applies to us, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. We are vintage fun and games. Here's Don't the make-off Bentley with the hood down. Don't get many takers. That's Currently the in the hands of Brown Johnston, the Birchman net. Oh. Torbert is down in sixth place. I feel as if I've done 50 laps. I've got a stiff neck. It's been so exciting in here. It's been non-stop action from the word go, with the track deteriorating by the minute. Now, Patrick's hopped out of Owlet into, into another Fresnash, the classic TT replica. So he's a busy boy this well, weekend. They had to time that perfectly, didn't they? They did. Jumping out of one car into another, can't wait for a bus to come along. Now, what's to go happening for here? A bit of a slide, understeer, ter almost terminal understeer, but Eddie converts it into oversteer. It was, yeah, brilliant. That's how you drive a chain drive, Fraser Nash. Good control, race leader now two seconds. Eddie Williams ahead of good Nick thing, Swift in Allen. Good thing it's half a turn from lock to lock, Barry. You can catch it quick. Nice and direct. Bit of training in go-karts will help you there, that's for sure. Coming up behind the Talbo again. Into the last six minutes, five and a half minutes to be precise of this race. Number 14 Bentley is uh, Martin Overington. It's a blower Bentley, it's the one with the supercharger between the front uh, dumb and the front axle. It's still clattering, Barry, but it's so... Oh, oh dear, that's, that's a shame. That's, that's the Master Martin Brooklands with Steve Skipworth yes. in the fence. And climbing over to get out of the way. It's damaged the front end. That ain't going anywhere at the moment. But that's a, a shame. nice slide again from our leader. Well, the section of the tyres are just so small that, as I say, the footprint is about as big as the palm of your hand. And uh, it's trying to fight for grip on this slimy tarmac and in the main succeeding but sometimes failing <laughs> but not terminally failing no not terminally failing. Not 360 degrees now then it's he, getting closer it is getting closer nick swift has got the hang of this 
is there a fight back here with four and a half minutes remaining Nick Swift with two wheels on the grass over the curb there closing down I think the traffic slowed Eddie Williams down in the closing stages here we've got the Hunt Blakeney Edwards car still in third that is astonishing Blakeney Edwards will have been in the top three two cars I think the GoPro makes it look further away than it actually is the back markers to get past but without any trouble at all Well, let's have a look, you know, knowing Nick Swift the way we do and seeing the way that he's driven over the years, he will be going for it, just as Eddie Williams is going for it. Nick Swift is threatening to retire from racing. We all hope that he won't, but maybe this is his swan song. Well, owl song, anyway. <laughs> I like it. Is it Tawny? Tony 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 Orban. <laughs> Here he comes. Well, he's closing. Yeah, he is closing. I think that we might have two more laps. 1.3 last time over the line. Let's see what it is next time. There's a tail ender ahead. That's Marcus Marcus so and that, Richard Black in the Talbo. Yeah, that could cause a bit of a problem for Eddie Williams. He can see, well, he can't see the outlet closing the way we can, but uh, Nick Swift will see that there's traffic ahead. He'll be looking for every opportunity possible. Is there a sting in the tail here? No. Eddie Williams is past the Talbo and uh, clearing on his way, waving Nick Swift past as well. So now they're both on the same piece of tarmac. Probably I a think dozen vehicles. We'll have two more laps. Both pass. Nick Swift closing. Visibly closing, got the lights on. I'm coming through, buddy. He's oh, oh that's a wide one. one. Yes, oh, that was wide. Does it give Nick a chance to yes, get it closer? Does. Yes, it does, without a doubt. He closed with that wide, wide swing into Magwick. Oh, goodness me, I'm interested sure that the um, Blacks Torbert Largo, which has been lapped, is actually not slipping away from them very much, but maybe it's drying up and therefore he could get the power down. And there's another French car to pop past. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. He is past. Goodness me, and again, sawing at the wheel. I'm not sure my nerves are going to stand the next lap and a half. Well, you've only got one, one minute 40, Barry, to stand, so <laughs> don't stop breathing. Oh, Alan oh, twitching. Oh, it's more than twitching, it's out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now another two more tail enders. Talbo to overtake for Eddie two, Williams. Two more tail enders. You know, this is going to be where it's won or lost. These back markers, there's no way past because they're racing. They're racing between themselves. Yeah, okay, the number I... five car knows he's there. That's Tanya Pilkington. If our piece of paper is correct. Tanya and Richard, highly experienced. They keep an eye on the mirror, as does the Aston Martin. Oh, is that a grassy moment for Eddie? Not quite. Owlet has been to the taxidermist. What a truly <laughs> stuff there. Yes, he has. Oh, dear me. That cost him one more lap, then. This will be the final lap, surely. Nick Swift in outlet, having made his way past, and that yeah, was the Yeah, you can see move. how Nick got balked by the two back-enders at the chicane that really yeah. cost but him the chance of popping ahead of Eddie Williams. Who nearly put it into the pit wall, I have to say. On the exit from the chicane, he was over the rumble strip and nearly sideways into pit lane. So this is not done and dusted yet by any means. Nick Swift now pushing, but still a gap. We've got about 12 vehicle lengths between them. 2.4 seconds last time, so the gap at the front is extended. Yeah, now uh, Eddie has got to face some more back markers to thread through. Will they hold him up? One of them does, and he's passed. At St Mary's then on the final lap. I think he's got bo past most of those tail enders. Nick's, Nick now faces the same. Uh, question. It's going to be second place for Blakeney Edwards and Swift, I think, unless some misfortune 
who falls the race leader, who's just increasing his advantage. The number 21 Vauxhall, Gregor Fiskin, still in sixth place behind the Birch Burnett and Rettemeyer cars. Just and, uh, Woodcut oh. for Eddie Williams to navigate. He's had some pretty lurid slides there, but he doesn't. Well, it's There's oh, oh it's that's almost too much. Lovely. Nearly a Full bridge too block. far. Goodness me. <laughs> You said lurid slides. That was um, <laughs> that was the mummy and daddy of all of them, wasn't it? It was. Now, can he keep it off the grass? Yes, he can. And heads for the finish to win the Brooklyn Trophy. Checker flag being ready then. Over the line they go. Checker.